Hello everyone and welcome to singleboard.com. Today we're going to install the simple screen recorder program on your Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. That's what I'm installing it on today. So let's get started. Up here click on your Raspberry, then go down to preferences, then add remove software. Click on that and I'm going to want you to type into the search box simple screen recorder and hit enter. Your Raspberry Pi will search through until it actually finds a program that we wish to install. It will come back the results as you see that it has. Simple screen recorder. Go ahead and click the checkbox and then click apply. When you do this your Raspberry Pi is going to take a look and tell you if there's any additional um, programs that need to be installed with it. You get this as it highlights them, click on continue. And then from there, click on continue again. It's going to ask you for your password. Enter that in there, click OK. And it's going to go ahead and install the program along with any additional dependencies that it needs. This is, as it says, a very feature rich recorder and it works incredibly well. Today I'm installing it from my Linux Mint system across the network over here to the Raspberry Pi. The next video will show the next program I'll install doing it from that actual uh, screen and setup over on the Raspberry Pi itself. I wanted to do this with video and everything today so you could see what was going on. Now that it's finished, go ahead and click OK. And that's it. It's actually that simple to install the program. You want to see where it's installed? Go back up here, click on your Raspberry again, go down here to sound and video, and now you'll see that Simple Screen Recorder is actually installed on your Raspberry Pi. If you want to see how well it's going to work, go ahead and click on it. That's going to open up the program. Now remember, last week I installed the re or was the re-speaker on the Raspberry Pi, and that's what's going to enable me to do all of the actual audio work on the Raspberry Pi for future videos coming from here. So once you're in the program, you can go ahead and click Continue. The main first screen will come up for what you want to do with your program that's here. You can see there's a lot of different installation options. Uh, default, as I have it set up, is for 1280 by 1024. You can see that the system is already configured to record audio from ALSA. You could go ahead and click on continue. It's set up to do H.264 and then record in regular MKV format. And as you can see, I already picked my destination file and named it to where I want to do. You can click on the browse button and go from there. I picked MP3 as my format and my bit rate. If you were to go and click continue on this point, it would take you to the next screen showing that you can start recording here and use hotkeys like the default is control R that's what I use to start and stop my video you can click on the start preview and you'll actually see that it's recording both what I'm on now and what's there showing you everything that's in place so it works really well you can leave your preview on the check and make sure your levels are all set when you're finished recording or want to pause you can hit control R again it will pause the recording Control R would restart it again until you're finally finished with it. When you're finished with the recording, like I'll be doing here, as soon as I click on Save Recording, it will save it, and then you can upload it to YouTube or to whatever platform that you like the most. It's just that simple. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please do remember to click subscribe, hit the little bell for future notifications, and I'll catch you in the next video.